The file name for this video is actually called Under18. That made me feel a bit weird. What's up, squires? My name is Joel the Backlog9, and you have returned to Backlog Quest, and we're back here with Undertale. Let's get it on. Okay, so we are on our way to see Asgore, apparently. And Alphys just warned us that essentially, unlike what she told us, uh, we actually need a monster soul along with a human soul in order to get through the barrier. That sucks because I don't intend on killing anyone, so I'm wondering how we're going to make do. I'm a bit curious. Also, there's no music. So I guess that's made to really set the... The somber tone there. My god, where... What's happening? Man. Oh! Acoustic version of that song I like very much from The Ruins. Well, not Ruins, but the place with the statue that gave us the piano song. Also, Bed of Leaves. Also... New home. That's weird. Also, it didn't tell us anything about determination. It's all grayed out. Hey, it's it's Toriel's house. Okay, I'm not crazy. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen in and the hallway. Keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. It's a golden flower. Why is the flower lit up? Why is another flower lit up? It's a golden flower, again. I'm having a bad feeling about... A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Oh wow, the monsters are not even attacking us, just telling us the story. Oh, there we go, there's a key. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Because our phone has a keychain too? Jesus Christ. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Uh-huh. Asriel, so... Yellow flowers again. It's a golden flower. It's a golden flower. I'm gonna guess that that's a golden flower. It's a golden flower. Okay. Oh! Presents! There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yeah, why not? You got the heart-shaped locket. And there's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? I'm gonna leave it. Fuck the dagger. I don't want a dagger. I don't need a dagger. We're not that kind of people. Room under renovations. Still can't get in, okay. What? Those things talk? Over time, after the other human became siblings, the king and queen decided to human child as their own. You don't belong to the small world. <laughs> Whatever, I tried to make it sound weird. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. Cool, so two keys. Two key, two key. What is this? It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champ 98. Ugh. That sounds kind of... Mm, 98 also. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says it's nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Asgore. Mr. Dad Guy. Oh, mirror. Despite everything, it's still you. Yep, it's still us. This game will not change us and we will not yield and succumb to violent ways. So the garden. Isn't this the garden? I'm confused. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, because the key... I'm dumb. Then one day, the human became very ill. Mm. The sick human had 
only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Because they couldn't go to the surface. The next day... The next day... The human died. Couldn't fulfill that request, eh? Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Oh my. I like this song. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Oh, I like this song. It's so inspiring. I don't remember that corridor turning, though. As you all reach the center of the village, there, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human unto it. Oh, man. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Oh, no. humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Astriel had the power to destroy them all. I'm guessing he didn't. Sounds like a cool kid. But Astriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Astriel smiled and walked away. Oh man. Oh. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. Oh, he died. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Oh, fuck. It's so sad. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. Oh man. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? That's so weird. You're going to be free. What the hell? What is that? Oh, it just... Oh, man. It just... <sighs> Leads you at the beginning of the path, huh? And you have to redo it all? Oh, man. So, while I'm walking there... So, another human fell down here before. What the hell? This is so confusing. So, another human fell down here before and got injured... And then he became King Asgore's son, along with his present son. But he became ill and died. And his other son wanted to essentially save him, or grant his final request. So he... Oh, man. He brought back the body of the human. God damn. And he died as well. That's cool. Last corridor. Last corridor? Okay. Oh man, I'm so nervous right now. Can't move. Oh. 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 
Okay. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. So none. What's EXP? That's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. Okay. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. <sighs> when you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Oh, because it wasn't level, it was love. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. Oh, fuck, I did not expect that at all. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced. Oh man. You still strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone, even when you ran away. You did with you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Clever. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in a towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. See, that we do. That we, every single, every single save point, except those last two or three. So as long as you hold on, so, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. And of course he's gone now. Okay, well, I guess we did something right, right? Holy shit. What's that? Throne room. Oh, man. It's here. Wait, what's here? What's that? I gotta check it out before I get inside this throne room. Nope, you know what? <laughs> the lack of music just totally made me go, wait. Throne entrance. Okay. So no more music. So nervous. Okay, what's down here? I probably shouldn't be going. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Joel. It's empty. Um. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. I'm guessing there's like two more over there. So I'm the seventh soul. That's for like dead humans. Holy shit. So they just all kill humans and then bring them here and then store their bodies. Well, you know what, guys? I know we all are dying to see what's out there, but we gained a lot of information. And I can't wait to step through that door. But I think that's a really good point to stop for now and just give it her all for next time. So I'm going to save here at the throne entrance at 281 minutes played in 40 seconds. And I'm going to call it quits for now. <laughs> I'm going to get ready for next time. So, of course, if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to say something, if you would like to share something, talk to me. Give it in the comments below. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of this. Share it with your friends if you think they'd like it. Until next time, I'd like to see you all stay super zen. And this has been Joel, the Backlog Knight. Just fighting the good fight, one game at a time. Backlog Knight out.